Ditch and Chilling is the residential practice center of the European Shambhala Buddhist community. The center sits in a land of rolling meadows and magnificent old trees near Limoges, France. My inspiration for Shambhala is that we have centers where people come, people learn, people train, people become leaders, people become practitioners, become hopefully better um, at family and relationship, and business, whatever it is. And so from that kind of strength, they go out and actually and help the world. And one of the basic uh, sort of aspects of Shambhala is a social kind of vision, a social vision in the sense of trying to have a um, sort of a sort of harmonious and more sort of um, integrity in terms of the culture. People from around the world come to learn and practice meditation and to relax within the beauty of the land. Throughout the year, Dechen Chilling offers programs ranging from basic meditation and contemplative arts to advanced Buddhist and Shambhala teaching taught by renowned teachers. You know, when the Buddha taught, he taught to what the person was doing. So if they were a musician, he would talk about music. You know, if they were a farmer, he would talk about farming. So it's, it was a way of how do you incorporate it into what you're doing. And I think making a connection is the main thing. And right now, with this culture that we're in, it's very important to have a way of connecting it to people's lives. And if we can connect it to people's lives, then it becomes uh, meaningful. And one of the main things is people do not spend a great amount of time meditating. And in the old days, if you were in Tibet, you would talk about meditation and people would go ahead and do it for months and years. Here people have a limited amount of time. So it's a matter of trying to make wisdom applicable to what people are doing now in their life. So I think it's a matter of trying to get it um, incorporated. And in my recent book, the point of it was how do you actually engage these wisdom principles in your life? And it's not to do with just leaving life or removing yourself from life or abandoning life. It's a matter of actually trying to make your life richer and fuller. And so how do you do that? And these you know, spiritual principles can, can invoke that. Buddhism is not just um, one aspect of, of, of your life. It's actually a whole life. So within that, you can write poetry, you can sing, you can do, you can be active. It's, it's, it's everything coming together. And I think the more that people in the West begin to understand that, as opposed to it's just like, it's not just uh, for Sundays or going to kind of a, you know official thing, but it's more uh, 24 hours and different ways of expressing it.